Hey guys, we're Time Six. We're back with another movie reaction. Today we are checking out Ant Man and the Wasp. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You could also check out our Patreon page, get early access and full uncut reactions for all the shows and movies that we watch on the channel. Link is gonna be down below. That's also where you can vote for what we watch next. We hold weekly polls, but every third week, we watch a movie of our choice just to add some variety. Before we start, this is a first time watching for I think everyone, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. I thought you watched it, Kyle, because usually you've watched every fucking MCU thing. No, I don't remember exactly why, but I think because when the MCU movies were coming out, the reason why I've seen all of them up until this point is because me and my friends, we had a ritual of going to the movies every time a new Marvel movie came out. Mm. We did not care about the MCU at all, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Like it was like we were we didn't care about like the, the lore or anything or even paying attention oh, to much to, like the stuff like we were just watching it because it's like oh like action movie chain and we just we did okay. it just because you know it, like a fast that's what we did for, to hang out those are yeah um, but we got busy towards the end of high school mm. and that's when this movie came out if I remember correctly or it was over the summer or something it was we were busy and we couldn't watch this one so oh. this one just got skipped. Anyways, uh, we loved the first one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first Paul one was Rudd? really good. Paul Rudd? Oh, yeah. Evangeline Lilly? Oof. She's a sweetie. And apparently, she's the girl in Lost. We, like, we didn't recognize her, but that is her. And she's a Canadian actress. Oh, so there you go. Represent. Represent. And... Oh, and one more thing. Do we think that this is going to be happening after the moments that occurred in the last movie? I think it's journeying because Ant-Man was missing in Infinity War, right? Yes. Ooh. But what's so important that he'd be missing during all that fuckery? What was he doing? He was with the wasp. Or was he? He shrank down. Form. He shrank down just to have like insect sex. <laughs> <laughs> or or they got really big. Priorities. No, you She wants a big Bro, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Telling you that she wasn't so coming home was the hardest thing that I ever had to do. CGI. I think it's possible to bring her back. Oh. That's cool. You think really? Someone, you think someone would uh, huh? age in the quantum realm? Oh. It's different. Everything's different. <laughs> she comes back. Wanda. As a oh, Wanda. Like I have to say it every. Marvel logo. Once we're inside, you show any hesitation or fear, we're done. I eat food for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Best character's back. A <laughs> secret vault. Tell me you brought the contact lens. Yep. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> what the there. Holy crap. Is this fun? Damn. Bro. How the fuck did this kid oh, has the funny. best life? Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, he's on house arrest. Left. Why would I try to escape? Sorry, Scott, but rules are rules. You trip the perimeter. Oh, this guy. We search the plate. Close up magic. That's so cool. Your school has rules, right? Like you can't draw on the walls. Well, your daddy went to Germany and drew on the walls with Captain America. And that was oh. a violation of Article 16, Paragraph 3 of the Sokovia Accords. How'd you do it, Scott? Do what? The car trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're like PTSD or something? I'm gonna find you, Jelly Bean. Huh? What? Is it all connected? Once you're in the quantum? I found you. <laughs> you always find me, mommy. What the hell? <gasps> the fuck does that mean? What the hell is going on? An ant? Oh. A wasp? Hope? <laughs> what? Hope, what did you do? It's another dream. Do you think it was a dream, or is it possible that you really saw my mom down there? <laughs> oh my. They broke the. Oh. 
That's so cool. Scotty? He's programmed to replicate. <laughs> Thank you. Nine hours in bed, five hours in front of the TV, two hours in the bathroom, whatever that's about. That's totally <laughs> inaccurate. No more Audis. It's all about the Hyundai. No. Hey, Hank. Look, I just want to say that it's a tunnel to the quantum realm. To my mom. We think she might still be down there. We just don't know where. Last night we powered up the tunnel for the first time. It's overloaded and it's shut down. A gray split. Wait, last night? The doorway to the quantum realm. That's when you had the dream. Oh, yes. We think when you were down there, you may have entangled with her. Hank, I would never do that. I respect <laughs> Entanglement. Entanglement, Scott. I just had a dream about her playing hide and seek with a little girl. Oh. The little girl, where was she hiding? Was it in a wardrobe? No, it was in a, like a tall dresser. You mean a wardrobe? <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Red. We have to hurry. The entanglement won't last. You owe us. All right, fine. But can I just wait inside? Because I'm not supposed to be out here. Wow. Let's go. Throw it in the whip. How brilliant is that? Who needs to pay property tax? Whoa, know, right? infinite packing. Oh. oh. The hell was that? Now you can forget nanotech, forget AI, forget cryptocurrency. Quantum energy is the future. I want in hope. So as a gesture of good I want have taken the liberty. So we are either in business together or we aren't in business together. Do kick his ass. You can go. But I'm afraid your money's gonna have to remain. Let's call it compensation for my injured feelings. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so find out I want some name. Oh, it's her! Hold on, you gave her wings? <laughs> noise! Oh, noise! No. Oh! Grab that. This is so sick. Oh! Yeah. There's always idiots that think they can shoot a fucking insect. Wrong guy. Oh! That's genius. Oh, he's salty. <laughs> <gasps> oh, wow, it's close. Oh, oh my. The accuracy. Wings <laughs> and blasters. Oh, who's this? What in the hell is that? What, what kind of tech do they have? Jack, are you seeing this? Oh, get out of there! That chip. What? what? Oh, grab the chip. Kick. Remember? Oh. What, what the fuck? Give me that now. He got the lamp. No. Come on. So where to now? There is one place I can think of. Where? No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> like, like, who would have thought that once again, in your hour of need, that, that you would turn to us, you know? Not me. <laughs> that stability becomes is that? chaos. Oh. That's Morpheus, right? It yeah. <gasps> It's quantum entanglement between the quantum states of Posner molecules in your brains. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you guys just put the word quantum in front of everything? <laughs> <laughs> I eliminated the diffractors when I upgraded the suits. So if we had an old suit, we might be able to. Track oh, down he didn't the lab. destroy it. Yes, but we don't. Uh oh. A wanted man going into a school. Whenever you go back to school, isn't everything supposed to look so much smaller? This place seems huge. Ah. Uh oh. How big is he? Oh, oh my. No, no, no. He's like a little. Oh no. <laughs> no one saw that. That'd be so weird. <gasps> oh. Try that. Noise. Nice and you. Oh. oh. <sighs> Sorry. It's in there. I don't know why I thought it would have been in there. <laughs> they made it out. 
No problems. Look at this champ. How was school today? <laughs> All right, get your jokes out now. Oh, oh she's up. That was fast. She can phase without the suit. She knocked him out. Yeah, wow. the suit is not. Hi. Damn. I'm Ava. Ava. Scott. I need what's in your head. Everyone. The entanglement? Wait. Another casualty. Yeah. <gasps> Yo. Oh. Until my father dared disagree with the great Hank Pym. You had him fired. My father tried to continue his research on his own until something went wrong. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't want him to be alone. <gasps> How the hell did she survive? When I woke up, my parents were I mean, that starts the phasing thing. I wasn't so lucky. Yeah, see? Call it molecular disequilibrium. Every cell in my body is torn apart and stitched back together over and over every day. They built me a containment suit so I could control my phasing and trained me to be a stealth operative. When S.H.I.E.L.D. collapsed, I took Ava in. I built the chamber to slow her decay, but her condition was progressive. I didn't know how to cure her. She wanted to kill you, Hank, but I told her no, and that she should watch you instead. And sure enough, she discovered that you were building the... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I said the phone. Cassie, are you okay? What's the emergency? I can't find my soccer shoes. What? I have a game tomorrow. Hey, Scott, I know that they're there. Can you just walk the phone around the house? No, I, I can't do that right now. Why not? Because I'm sick. Hey, um, can you just maybe look around later then and call me back? I'm sorry. It said emergency. <laughs> <laughs> it did it. Janet. For the last 30 years, she's been down there absorbing quantum energy. We can extract that energy. We can use it to repair Ava's molecular structure. Extract it? Yes. Are you insane? That would rip Janet apart. You don't know that. It's his heart. He needs his pills, please. Dr. Foster, they're in the tin, please. Oh, that's the thing. Oh. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. It, it, that's, wow. that's like a Pierce Hawthorne. You got the lab. The undercarriage. Uh oh. Wash. That's for cleaning off road salt laid down in our more snow laden sister states. Who are you and why you know so much about car wash protocol? <laughs> well, my name is Sonny Birch. Has a portable shrinking laboratory filled with all kinds of juicy tech. And you're going to tell me where it is. Well, I had to break it to you, but uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to introduce you to my good friend, Uzman. Oh, no. Now, the Uzman, Uzman is a Uzman. master. Oh, is that truth serum? There's no such thing as truth serum. That's just nonsense from TV. It makes you suggestible I, uh... and highly responsive. Well, dude, that's truth serum. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You know what? You're right. This isn't truth serum, because I don't feel anything. That was a lie. I do feel something. This is true, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where is Scott Lang? Well, see, that's complicated. Because when I first met Scotty, he was Oh, start time, start time, start time. About self ID. His wife had just filed for divorce. And I was like, damn, homie, she dumped him when you on that. And he was like, yeah, I know. I thought I was going to be with her forever. But now I'm all alone. And I was like, damn, homie, you know what? You got to chin up because you'll find a new partner. But you know what? I'm Luis. And he says, you know what? I'm Scotty. And we're going to be best friends. Okay, hold on, hold on. And Hope's all like, I want nothing to do with you. Look at my hairdo. I'm on business. And then Scotty's like, you know what, girl? My heart is all broken. And I'll probably never find love again. But damn if I want to kiss you. But then you fast forward and then I'll like, right? Oh, wow. He's like, you know what? I'm worried. That I can't trust him, and he's gonna screw up again and ruin everything. And in my heart, it's all like that fancy raspberry filling represents the company's red, and we're days away from going out of business. Oh, out of business. Days away. Damn, truth serum. The woods. The woods? Oh. What do you mean, the woods? The Muir Woods. The second fire road off the Panoramic Highway. For God's sake. Yeah. Oh, oh. Baba Yaga. <laughs> 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 What's he getting? 
I'm sorry, I don't know how much time I have. I need to fix the algorithm. Trust me, after 30 years down here. He's talking, it's her. It's it's her. It's her. Shannon. Silence. Nah, that's bro. That's hilarious. That's... Fix the algorithm, bro. You have two hours. After that, the probability fields will shift, and it'll be another century before they align like this again. <gasps> we'll find you. Bro. So good. I know you will, Jelly Bean. <laughs> Don't kiss. Huh. No. Oh, he's back. Okay. Now he'll kiss. Nothing, I got nothing. No sign of Janet. Perfect. How do we get up here? <laughs> <laughs> but you need to go home because the feds are probably going there now. Uh, I'll come back. Just tell me where you'll be. He didn't say Don't no. Bother. What? We'll come and get the suit from you as soon as we found my mom. Oh. Scott, just go. Wow. Scott? Uh -oh. Daddy? It's us, buddy. Spread out. Uh oh. Ken? You people have no shame. <laughs> the the but Daddy's super sick. He barfed. Like a lot. Young lady, I'm a federal agent. I've seen worse things than vomit. Like a lot, a lot. Woo. <laughs> what are you doing here? You made it. Scott. So I'm sorry, I'm just really sick. I told you. Oh, they were hiding. Not necessarily oh. hiding. Yeah, oh, but just waiting. surrounded. Oh, L. What is it? We have a man down, and Pim's lab is gone. I don't know how I can help her without hurting you. You can do it. You can do anything. Yeah, you're Aunt one of the world's greatest grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why is Cassie the best character? She has to shrink that wall. Oh, Scott, what are you two just standing around for? We gotta go find that lab. Came to the mean? rescue. Bounce, shrink. Let's go. Hi. Wow. Hi. It was his fault. Uh, excuse me, are uh, we planning on leaving soon? <laughs> Let's or are you go. two gonna keep staring at each other? I'm on my way. Who's Mon? Oh, they're gonna take you. It's like a GPS! What? That'll work. Oh, what? It's like an in world augmented GPS. <laughs> this again. Suiting up now. Oh, shit. I'll help you find a cure when I get back. I promise. The helmet? Who needs a helmet? Oh. Oh. Now. Misdirection. One of the first things they teach you at Online Close-Up Magic University. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's this fucking donkey. Birch? Really? This guy again? <laughs> I know, right? He's not even a threat. Fucking Uzman. Uzman. Change of plans. He's not a mon. Like some Los Santos type roads, right? Oh! L. That was so sick. I'm not finding it now, bitch. Oh no. Oh, that on the carriage is filthy. <laughs> <laughs> he would know, he would know. <gasps> I thought she's gonna do it. I'm like, it's not gonna work. Oh, oh my god. Oh, god. oh. This guy crashed for no reason. <gasps> oh, oh no, that no, was so no. close. Oh. Oh, that's so sick! <laughs> well, 
The 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh my. Oh, Hello Kitty. That would mess you Just up. Just oh, yeah. cause. On top. Oh, oh, she, no, she can turn here. She's good. She she's good. She's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, he God went damn. Giga. It's cool, kid Scott. Oh, oh, oh that was actually oh. how did Birch get it? I can't. <laughs> I can't even. We're missing the remote. We gotta check the band. Oh! The Hyundai. Oh no! I'll just call a uh, Veloster. Awesome. Yeah, Veloster, right? <laughs> oh, imagine how much air. That looks so sick. Oh, Charger fucked up. Ooh. <laughs> I hate his fucking escalate with the gold. That's so bait. Why would he stand there? Antonio Oh, a seagull. Oh shit, he's huge! Bigger than he's ever been! Roman <laughs> Dolph is now! Oh, she's old! Wow! Some crazy place to meet up, right? <laughs> Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to sleep now for five no, minutes. No, 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 not in the water. Oh. Someone's in your way. Oh, oh no, nah, someone's in your way. Oh, he got so lucky. Oh. But that was a little weird. Hey. <laughs> oh go. shit, look at this! Don't even. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, the boys. Boys. Let's go! Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awkward stare. Damn! Oh! Damn! Damn! Oh no. What, Janet? Oh! Oh, they're saving. Oh. Oh! Mom? Oh, wait, Dad. Who's Dad? Oh, shit. <laughs> you better. We found you. It's okay. It's there we go. Oh, why did he take so oh. long, man? She has powers? What could she do? Die, I think. Oh, I think she has some quantum powers. Yeah, she's got some, like, next level. So. Oh, it worked. Uh, pain? No pain? We have killed many, many people. Uh, he, he's in charge. That's true, I am. He also committed numerous health code violations in my restaurant. Oh, they gave him the truth serum? Some of them were Oh. This truth serum. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Always. Louise. The Always one. one. It's a uh, decoy. It's over, Scotty. Sorry, but we got you, man. <laughs> Just pull off that band-aid. You lost. It's okay. Magic. 
<laughs> match. There we go. I thought they were gonna sacrifice the coming apart. The suit. <laughs> He's gonna be still in bed. Or like. He's running. Oh. Oh, hey guys. Am I two years up already? Uh. They can't hey. say shit. Uh, you got away with it this time, Scott, but uh, I'll be seeing you again. Where? In general, I'll see, like, the next time you <laughs> do something bad, I'll be there. Oh. I'll catch you. Type. You'll be watching oh, me. To, yeah, to I thought you were inviting me somewhere. <laughs> Maybe you should. Why would I do that? That's what I was wondering. Why would you do that? I, I... Like a party or like dinner or something? Yeah, uh, you dinner. Like idiot. In the evening. No, I meant to like arrest no, you. Course, I'll arrest strange. you later again. Take it, easy. <laughs> okay. Take it easy, Jimmy. Did you want to grab dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do dinner. This guy's so lonely. Let's go for a steak. All right. Oh. Oh, they're home. Oh, that's so sick. They have a beach house just like that. Or what the plumbing? Whoa! Hold on. Move! Get out of here! Don't, 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 don't. Ah. Oh, gross! Ugh, I hate that. Oh, that's what. Yeah. yeah. That's so fucking sick with a laptop. Oh, that's the end. Dude, Ant-Man movies are so good. Right? This is amazing. End credit scene. Why do I want to watch this? This looks cool. Because it's all like toys and... Yeah, it is. And the music is fire. Oh, here we are. I used to be a respected scientist had by name the sides of buildings. Now I got this. If you wanted a smaller quantum tunnel, it should automatically start absorbing quantum healing particles. Also, healing? make sure you stay out of the tardigrade fields. All right. All right, Scott, this is a mic check. He's missing uh -oh. with them? Mic check, one, two, one, oh. two. How's everybody doing tonight in the quantum realm? <laughs> we read you. So he's harnessing all like this healing power. Healing particle secured for our new ghost friend. Great. Preparing for re-entry in five. Oh, for four, a ghost? Three. I thought she was already healed. Wait, what? Hello? Oh fuck. He's uh -huh. Very funny. <gasps> Hank, quit screwing around. You told me yourself not to screw around. Uh! Oh shit! Oh? Thanos! Guys! It happened. Okay, seriously, don't joke around. Bring me up, let's go! All of, all Guys. The man! Was he saved because he was in yeah. the quantum? Yeah. Or maybe it was... Well, in this case, the 50% was... I don't think it matters. Yeah. Alright guys, that was the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the movie that we weren't able to keep in our YouTube edit, you can click the link down below to take you to our Patreon page where you can watch the full uncut reaction and let's discuss now. Okay. So, Ant-Man and the Wasps. The Wasps. Okay. Right off the bat, quick thoughts is amazing, fun movie. Oh yeah. With a little bit of seriousness in it, but I feel like it's a good balance. I think it's mostly fun, less serious. There's no, but like I'll compare. So I just edited Thor Ragnarok a couple days ago, mm. right? So comparing to that, where that everything fun, was though. just fun and jokes. Yeah. God, I don't know if I like it better than Thor, but I feel like the balance is better. I think what sticks out to me the most from this movie compared to the last one that I think is like a huge upside <laughs> is uh, Scott and Cassie's interactions. Yeah. He is such a great dad and he really goes like he's... through all these lengths to provide like a really, really wholesome, you know, experience for his daughter. That's what every being... dad should have yeah. to be. And he's like under house arrest. So I guess he has a lot of time on his hands to do this kind of stuff. But still, you know, 
he really cares. And it's good to see. How do you make money when you're... Actually, I guess he's part of that business, right? Yeah. He's working from home? He's working from yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So he just does the plans, I guess? He can't actually do the... Install. What if you're like... This is just like off topic. But mm. What if you're under house arrest, but the kind of work you do doesn't... You can't do it from home. Then what? No, no. Then do, then, does like the state you like... You're screwed. Or you go no, does the state like rearrange, like help you out or... It's, no, the state definitely does not provide any transportation accommodation. No, not transportation, you but I know money, money. You go on welfare. No, not money. I think, something. but also, they have job programs, right, where they could provide at home work, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like you can maybe. do like uh, work for like call. <laughs> you can file people's taxes. Like customer service, you know. Oh god. I really enjoyed this movie. One is like you said because of Cassie, still the best character in the MCU. Okay. One um, is. And Wanda, of course. But what else? Hope. Evangeline Lily, dude, she was so good. This movie. Oh yeah. This, this was one, her. Yeah, yeah, better than the last one for sure. Way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her suit is fucking amazing. I disagree. I liked her better in the last movie <gasps> because of something they mentioned, where she's like, got this whole like professional vibe that she's trying to uphold but then she's also like falling for scott so you you see like two different sides to her i like that i lot. feel like in this movie she was as professional as she could be while on the run no no, no. as professional as she could be on the run absolutely yeah. but i'm just saying that it, it's exactly because of that that she can't mm. really present herself with the demeanor that, that we're accustomed to seeing or the professionalism that we know that that's in her at least so, she was in a suit this movie so i yeah. like that no now she's on our side and that's super fun don't get me wrong it's just like Again, I personally enjoyed... And it, uh, the, the Hope Scott relationship has progressed. So I like that a lot. It that's has like the... Like in terms of MCU, that's the couple goals that I root for the most. I yeah, think. for sure. Like yeah. more so than fucking Tony and Pepper. But yeah, if Pepper put on a suit, yeah. maybe. <laughs> well, Pepper was pretty good at Iron Man 3, right? Yeah, When she went all flamio. Yeah, it's went crazy. Yeah. What other fucking couples are there in the MCU? Well, there's Wanda Thor and Vision, Jane, but that's all Bruce called. and Black Widow. Uh, barely. Uh, barely. I, yeah, I think what, they tried what, that what, for a movie. They're yeah. like, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to fucking Betty for Bruce? Remember her? Oh, Betty yeah, is supposed yeah, yeah. to be the girl for Bruce. Yeah. No, no, like Captain America and uh, his girl's granddaughter or whatever. He's slamming her too. Oh, that's Cap. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Bruce, yeah. yeah, but that's another couple though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. In terms of couples, I think it's uh, Tony and Pepper, Scott and Thing, uh, Hope. We have Vision and Wanda, which I, I honestly don't care about, even though I love Wanda. But it's just, it's just it doesn't. You're jealous. It, <laughs> jealous. Maybe. She's dating a rock. I gotta know. find me a fucking bite stone. Man. Yeah. <laughs> She's dating a rock. And I gotta learn how to cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't actually. <laughs> If you don't know how to cook, that'll actually yeah. that'll work better in your favor. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, let's go over the story real quick. It kicks off right from last movie. Where, well, yeah. not right from. We still get the time jump with, like, with Germany. Germany. But basically, the part where Scott goes subatomic and returns, it gives Hank, like... A new life goal or like hope for the wife. Yep. Mm -hmm. Janet is her name we learned. Yeah. <clears throat> that was previously. I, I like that they closed off that that loose end in this movie. Like that's what the movie was based off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we learned that. What do you guys think about the whole Sokovia Accord thing? Because. Regardless of what happened in the Civil War, it seems that they went along with it anyways. So it's like, bro, what the fuck? Well, they signed it. Did they sign it? If they didn't, then this wouldn't happen. So you're telling me everyone that fought in Civil War was like, fuck it, let's sign. No, if no, that no, was no, the case, no, no, no. why was Cap on the run last movie? No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to refer back sign to... No, no, no. So, Bla... no, no. So Cap never signed it. He's still on the run. Yeah. Falcon is still on the run. Well, Wanda is on Tony's side. So there's WandaVision. Everyone from, from Nat was also on the run. We know that. 
Everyone from Endgame. But dude, dude, if not you Endgame. don't sign it, not Endgame, uh, you they go after you. No, but right, Cap right, was still but... in hiding, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember? Because in Infinity War, when they go to talk to him, he's yeah, like, "Oh, exactly. I should arrest you all right now." Yeah. So they didn't sign it. Yeah, so they didn't sign it. Which no. is yeah. No, I like that they didn't sign it. Yeah. No, so the Avengers. Like right I now still is hold my opinion. That fucking so Scovia Accord shit is bullshit. But it's it like what it is. It is what it is, but I don't like this idea. Of what, it's like they're just powering through it regardless. Oh yeah, I'm sure that Scott doesn't like it either. But what choice has he got? He's got a family. He can always go giga. Like <laughs> Wu, like if Wu's in charge, is that is that a threat? <laughs> Yo, Wu is <laughs> was amazing in this. I think his re, uh, <gasps> name is Randall. His actor name? Yeah, I think. I know him from The Office. Oh, I, I know. From my, oh, it, yeah. I think I've seen that. that yeah, you, you've probably seen the scene. It's yeah. literally one scene in the office. Yeah. That's all he's in. That's the only thing I know him from. How do you remember that? Because it's such an iconic scene. I've seen it on YouTube. I've never seen the office. I don't know if you got that far in the office. It's very late in the, in the show. So. But it's just one. It's like an iconic cold open kind of thing. Mm. He's pretending to be, to be someone else. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, I did like him a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But my point was that he's so fucking goofy. He's goofy as fuck. It's like he's not, he's not a Ross, you know? If Ross was in charge, you, you'd want to stay in line. No, no, no. But with him in charge, it's like, bro. <laughs> the other dude that was with him, too. That weasel. Did we even get his name? He died, right? The weasel. He, Ava got him, right? Attacked him. I don't know if he died, but he attacked, she attacked him. Didn't she crush his heart or something? Did she? No, she did go into his chest, but I think she was, that was during her phasing. Oh. I think it was like a face punch. I don't know. <laughs> face punch. <laughs> Anyways, we're jumping ahead. Yeah. Uh, Cassie and Scott having good moments. Can we talk about this whole infrastructure in the house? The ultimate... Uh, oh, the slide. In. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. Well, that's so much time. That's where all the whole movie's budget went. <laughs> yeah, like that was so. I wish I had some of that. It was well thought out. It had pulleys. It had moving parts. At first, I was like, "Oh, it's just a like a small tent," and then we went on nah, this dude, slide. The God. whole house into Damn. the backyard. World's best grandma. <laughs> Did he use ants to build it? No. I don't. Could he could, have. but I don't think he had to. He kept the suit. He, he has time on his hand. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he did keep the suit, but I don't think he was using it. But wait, you don't need the suit to communicate with the ants. That's electromagnetic, like the earpiece, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. again, but it's built into the suit, so that's why. That's how he was able to control them. It's before. not built into the suit. Like Hank can use it without a suit. No, no, no. I just mean that that earpiece is built into the suit. That's why he can summon. No, but I, don't th I think you could take it out of the suit. Like, you could wear the earpiece without wearing the yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. also, he wouldn't use it because that that would go against his uh, conditions. Like, he's right. not He's not allowed to use any tech, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, PIM tech? Mm. According to Wu? Yeah, it's not, it's not safe. Yeah, it's right. not regulated for safety. Like, who's going to monitor fucking ants? Like, how, how would you ever enforce that? Just because he re re he's wearing a fucking earpiece? Yeah, arrest him for abnormal ant behavior. <laughs> he's up to no good. There's too many ants in your house. Damn, what are you Scott. doing? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so he sees a dream. Yeah, yeah so they run a test for this tunnel thing. Mm -hmm. And he has a dream where he briefly connects with the wife, Jeanette, and apparently starts going through her memories. Or a specific memory that, it was a message from her. It was a message. It wasn't really, yeah. yeah. But that, yeah. And the message was, <laughs> what was I'm this? existent. I guess, but, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, what, you don't like it? No, I... I mean, it, it makes I know sense. the part you didn't like, which we'll talk about. The only thing that I wish they would have talked about a little bit more was how she got the message across to him. Because from what we see, well, they did. It's like, oh, did they? It's the entanglement. Well, that's the thing, though. Like, what is the entanglement? Oh, you don't know? Okay, so that's a theory in uh, quantum mechanics where 
you have two particles or I guess it will be particles, right? Two particles that are linked with each other without physically being linked to, to each other. So like regardless of distance, regardless of space or time, these two particles are going to be linked and one particle's effects will yeah. relay onto the other. No, I get that, but how did they become linked? Well, okay. That's not, I don't have an answer for that. Well, yeah, that, that's what I'm asking. How did she That's some quantum mechanics shit. Like, I don't think there's an answer for that. Dude, yeah. I, when that part was going on, I'm like, yeah, I don't give a no, fuck about that. No, you don't have to understand or, how yeah. to understand the theory. Like, yeah, yeah. if you understand entanglement, I feel like that's enough to buy it as a possibility. Yeah. You don't have to go into the nitty gritty of how. Because like when he was having his say, his dream or whatever, it, you saw her for like a split second doing what looked like jumping jacks around him, and then he came to and then made the phone call. I think the no, if, okay, if we want to get into that, let's go. How did this happen? I think the plausible thing would be these are probably the only two living humans in the quantum realm. Oh, right. Wait, no. Actually, hold on. So like she has superpowers. Yeah, probably. and she has the super healing power among other things. She's a different woman now. Yeah, yeah. At her. she's got. The, so she I think once she her. once she sensed that another human has entered the quantum realm, she she fingered his head, and gave him the message. Okay. Right. I was gonna say she sent a signal, but sure, fingering. Yeah. Yeah, entanglement. Anyways, hope is back. She's looking good this movie, I think. I like her with the longer hair. She's looking more like uh, how she looked in Lost, I think. Yeah, she does look like how she looked in Lost. The short hair is iconic, it's a bob. It's a classic look. The what? The short hair is iconic. No, no, okay, I like both, yeah. She looks better with the long hair, I think. I think that's a personal thing, but yeah. Anyways. They know this illegal arms dealer who is Mr. Sonny Birch, or Sonny Birch. Sonny Birch. <clears throat> With the Uzman. He reminds me of that villain from uh Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. Looks exactly like him. Yeah. But more goofy. Yeah. Oh, I Hammer don't... Industries? Yeah. No, not Hammer. Hammer was the Iron Man 2, right? We're talking not about Iron Hammer. Man 3, the guy who went into flames. Yes. That's... Yeah, Hammer was oh. the the dancing guy on stage. Yeah. Iron yeah, Man yeah. 2. No, I'm thinking no that, guy, that guy was goofball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's funny. <laughs> He's as goofy as this guy, Birch. So yeah, Birch is doing his typical money grabbing things. He's like, oh, I want to be a part of this. Otherwise, fuck you. He yeah. made promises to other people. He wants people. a car in the business. Oh, well, he wants to start a business, so. What and business. Well, sell suits? Well, no, sell he said, these parts. Maybe. He said that quantum energy is the future, mm. which could be the case. I don't think he's wrong there. Yeah. But he's an idiot, so fuck him. He lost all That's his money. That's not their, what they're doing this for, so. Yeah, he, they're, the money, they don't care about the money. Yeah, but. No, like, you have to think about it in the other aspect, right? It's like if, like, humans need energy, and obviously we don't want to keep using coal and oil and shit like that. So what's the best solution? So far, people say either solar or nuclear. But what if quantum is an option? Exactly. So it is a pursuable, and like, I like the idea of like, what he's saying, but he's not the guy to be saying it because he's an idiot. Yeah. That's my opinion. And he rolls with Usman, so. Usman. Usman. I know someone in college <laughs> named Usman. No, 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 that's why I'm saying Usman because yeah. uh, I had a, okay, so this is the thing. It's like in kindergarten or grade one. <laughs> Damn. Going all the way back. No, yeah, I had a friend. <laughs> yeah. Whose name was uh, Usman? Like that's how you're supposed to say, yeah, it, right? Yeah, but because all the teachers didn't know how to say it, they say Usman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then that's what we we all called him. So yeah. it was it UZ. I don't look at no, ah, it's, it's US, S, US. S, yeah, it's Usman. That's how you Usman. say it. Usman. Yeah. But the teachers didn't know how to say it, so it was like Usman. <laughs> yeah. And that just stuck with the guy. Usman. <laughs> Damn, I never called this guy Usman. <laughs> Usman. I should call him. That's funny. But yeah, so. Anyways, now we, let's talk about the Ava slash ghost slash whatever. Yeah, the ghost of Tsushima <laughs> shows up. She's an interesting character. And 
but I don't know if she's a good fit. Like, who is the villain in this movie? That's well, my she's, issue. She's not a no, villain. No, no. Sonny is the villain. Or I guess his investors are the villains, and they're deploying Sonny to... Is Bush the villain? Yeah. Because... He's the only one. I think... Okay. I'm, I'm thinking if of... If he it. is, he's pretty shit. No, no, no. Actually, well, he's the main villain, but... uh, What's her name? I feel like Ava's the main villain. Girl. Yeah. Ava becomes the main villain. Not the main villain. But she's no, she's the main villain she because she's, villain. she's the direct threat towards the family. But temporarily, though. That's the thing. No, no, no. no she villains, did almost go, a, yeah. go after Cassie, so... Yeah, she's the villain in this movie. I still think Birch is the villain. But if he is the villain, he's the worst villain we've ever villain. had. The problem with Ava He's like is... that secondary antagonist, but I don't think he's the villain. Like, if we were to classify someone yeah, as a villain. I guess he doesn't pose as much of a threat until he actually I don't has think it case. matters, honestly. No, but like, when you're talking about a superhero movie, you, yeah. you have to talk about heroes and villains, right? That's just the way it is. I guess both. I guess they're both villains. Yeah. Yeah. But, varying severity. But I think that's why this movie isn't as good as the first Ant-Man. Because in the first Ant-Man, there's a very clear conflict. You know? You have Darren Cross. He He's also a goofy idiot, but mm. he was kind of threatening. Remember when you came in with this leather, leather jacket? Yeah. yeah. I did yeah, like cool. Ava's story, though. Like, yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. Ava's way more interesting. She's very interesting. Like, And I'd say she's more likable than Darren. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I actually want to follow Ava's yeah. story. Ava and Morpheus. Like, mm. What are they going to do? Where are they going? I want a yeah, movie on it. But wait, 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 wait. Did she just lost her phasing thing? Is she interesting anymore? Not necessarily. Yeah, lost because it. no, she of course she is because she had this since she was a kid. Now her journey is acclimating to the world as a normal human being. She never got to be, uh, grow up as a normal human. She but, grew up always in pain and always phasing in and out. Okay. So it's a journey, I think. That's fine. But if she, now she's able to do it whenever she wants to, like the phasing thing, then it's cool. Oh, so you're, like, asking, use it as a power. you're asking if she still has the ability to phase. Yeah. If she does, the question, th then yeah. she's... She do I think she does because she still needs the particles to stabilize occasionally, yeah. it looks like. But is she able to do it on command? Yeah, so like, if she can do it on command, that would be a good superpower. Yeah. yeah. She could potentially join the Avengers with that. That's a sick power. Oh my God. That, it's kind of like Vision. If you think about it. Oh, it is. He can do that. Oh, he... Okay, she has like an aspect of Vision's power. Yeah, despite the fucking laser beam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like the... Well, she can fight. Big brain. She can fight, yeah. She used to be an assassin. And he can fly. That's also like a really big one. Who can fly? Vision. Okay, we're not comparing she Vision. She can't fly? No. You'd no. You'd think someone phasing in and out could kind of like... That's no, 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 no. If she can she, fly, she they can barely have walk. Her. Okay. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's basically drunk. <laughs> yo, <laughs> isn't, basically. Yo, isn't that Bro, what they show as shit. a visual when there's like a drunk person? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what they see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking shit, man. She's going through something, okay? Yeah, she's going yeah, through emotions. Yeah. Nah, her okay. backstory sucks, dude. That was messed yeah. up. Yeah, dad. I agree. I think her backstory does suck. Yeah. Even though she's... Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Hold on here. Okay, hold on see. here. What? Everything was fine up until she's like, oh, my father knew all the risks he was taking, but he had to do it. It's like, what? Like, okay, so her backstory is Hank and her father used to work together. Mm -hmm. They had a disagreement. Hank got him fired and put out some bad press. Mm -hmm. So he... I guess wouldn't be able to get any more work in his field, okay. which sucks, obviously. So then he moves to Argentina mm. to pursue to, to pursue his research illegally in secret, mm -hmm. and he obviously doesn't have enough resources to fully accommodate everything. And he's building something unstable and risky. But again, he decides that it's necessary, the only way to pursue his research, which is so important. I guess I don't know. It sounds like he. Prioritize his research over his family. Are you saying it's a good Baxter or a bad one? I'm I'm saying I think that the father chose his research over his family, but the daughter's pretending like Hank chose his. Uh, Hank oh, she's chose blaming the you know what? Over the father. You know what? I think I'm on Ava's side here. Here's why. 
what do we know about Hank? He seems to be that guy that pushes everyone away. And maybe it's for good reason. Like we know last movie he pushes people away because they want to abuse his power, right? Mm -hmm. His technology. But in this movie, it kind of came across where he's just closed-minded and doesn't like the opinion of others. That's kind of the image I got from this they, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if that's the case and that's why he got the guy fired, that's completely like wrong. Mm -hmm. No. And if that resulted in like obviously, the, dude, the, the father has to make a living. Yeah, what, but he doesn't have to pursue do? the science though. That's the thing. Why not? What if that's his? You can do anything. No. Else. What if that's in his mind? That's the breakthrough to becoming successful. Why wouldn't you pursue it? Well, again, because there's a risk, and he. But he well, yeah, there's a the risk, risk to anything. No, 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 but like this is like a. He's doing quantum mechanics. So there's a difference between working at like Burger King. No, and, and taking a risk there versus no, no, Burger King you know, is the comparison here. Versus the risking, comparison you know, is that he family. was already working in the fucking field, so he, he has some kind of idea or stability in his mind. Where he's like, okay, I can do this. He could have totally. become a professor. I do agree about what you said about Hank, mm -hmm. but Kyle is right. When she was talking about. Uh, she was basically blaming Hank yeah. for everything. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. Your not? dad did that. Your dad I built that like thing and he Hank had her family. No, no, okay, so here, here's my line of thinking here. It's like, as a scientist, that's your job. You know that things can go wrong. Okay? There's nothing wrong in still pursuing it. But he's not a scientist anymore. He's a, he's a scientist. Just because he's not working with Pim doesn't mean he's not a scientist. You could be self-employed. Okay. What was his well, family? I don't think he's a. Well, I think he could have Here's, allocated his resources better and focused on his family. I feel like he definitely chose his career. Maybe, over maybe his not. But here. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna knock a guy for pursuing his dream. Okay. Yeah. No. I Here's my line that. of thinking. Here's my line of thinking. He did an experiment. It went wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. He did the right thing. He told everyone to get the fuck out. He was gonna sacrifice himself like a man. Okay. I can respect that. Yeah, I can respect that too. She only came back because she's a kid and she doesn't know any better. Yeah, absolutely. So from her mind, I don't think she's wrong to blame Hank because oh. this whole thing spiraled because of Hank. But it, that's circular okay. reasoning. And if, no, 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 it's not. Because if, it depends on what Hank's reasoning is. If Hank actually thought the guy was evil and that's why he pushed him away, then it's like, okay, Hank's in the right. But if it was just because Hank couldn't handle another opinion, then Hank's in the wrong. Yeah, well, I'm not, again, this isn't really about... You can't just say circular reasoning just because we're trying to link it to something further back. No, no, no I'm just saying it's that... It's about motive and to intention. To be fair, Absolutely. this is the story from her dad's side. We don't know... Hank didn't say anything. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm going yeah. off of what we know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Akil, you're totally right. Yeah. It's about motive and what else did you yeah. say? And intention. Yeah. I don't think Hank had was motivating for this guy to die, nor had the intention to That's not what I'm die. saying. I'm saying... Saying it started. He doesn't have to, no, he doesn't have to intend for him to die. But if his firing yeah. of the guy came out of malice and ill intentions, then of course he holds responsibility. He obviously chose his career over his family, but the daughter, Ava, is Why pretending... are you saying over his family? Well, because, what do you mean? He, he's cooped up in Argentina in some garage. But the family was there. Yeah, the family was there. They're working together. They're working did, together on his did, career, man. He didn't choose one over the other. I don't know where you're getting that from. Dude, he, okay, she literally said that- They were he, living there together, He what? took risks. He intentionally took yeah, risks. Yeah, he took risks, big deal. Danger. He's a scientist. Yes, he is a scientist, he, he doesn't have to be. He didn't choose, no, he I think you're wrong go, on that. No, no, I think you're wrong on he that. He could easily go work He did Walmart. not choose work over his family. He, okay, he chose to accept risk and put his family in danger, okay? When he could have gone to work at Walmart and then provided for his family that way. It's not the same as being a scientist. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that he took the dangerous option that put his family in danger. You have he a, didn't okay. have to do that. Nah. He could have broken, you know, if you have a PhD, he broken out of it. If you're a scientist, you don't go to, you, you don't go work at Walmart, okay? Then he's just dogmatic then. Obviously, obviously it didn't Kyle, end well for him and his family. Kyle, your position comes from a position. Your position comes from a position. He's right. Where you already know what happened. No, 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 no. I'm saying that he, because here's the thing. Yes, I know what happened, but he knew that there was risks, which means that he There's knew that there was- risks in any work. Not like this. Him working at a warehouse is, a, is risk, riskful too. Totally, but it's not messing with what, quantum what if a, mechanics. What if a fucking forklift stabs him? Then what? But, okay, a then forklift a forklift stabs, stabs him. him. The, the, the daughter comes to save him, she gets stabbed too. Then what? Yes, <laughs> does, does that mean he's putting his fucking work over his family? God, no. no. But getting stabbed <laughs> by a forklift? And working nah, I on think you're on some bullshit here. And working on a quantum tunnel with no funding in Argentina in a garage. You're all some bullshit here. Those are two nah, completely I mean. different things. 
Paul, who is right? <laughs> Kyle or Ikea? Oh man. Damn. Okay. Which good. job is better? <laughs> I'm in town but, below. Or Walmart. Walmart. Warehouse <laughs> or scientist. Yeah. Anyways. We're talking about Ava. Yeah. So yeah. I do like her ability, like, and she's super interesting. Mm. Whether she's a good villain, I don't I wouldn't say that, but as a character, she's super cool. That's what I think. Oh, for yeah. sure. And her, her suit is so cool. Her uh, suit reminds me of a villain from Doctor Who, I think. Those reminds me of Star Wars. It's like a similar like yeah. arrangement somewhere okay, there. Okay, maybe I, Star I, That's Wars, why I didn't yeah. like it. It looked generic to me. It looked generic, yeah. I swear I've seen it somewhere. They stole it from somewhere. I like the colorway, though. Like the red and the white. It depends if they stole it. Is it from the, the comics? How old is the comics? Oh, I've <laughs> seen it somewhere. Anyways. She also turned invisible. She did the literal ghost, yeah. Yeah, literal. So that's cool. Yeah. So now, I guess the D, the doctor. The no, first it gets yeah. So she comes, she grabs Morpheus? it. Morpheus. Yeah. So she grabs it. So the group is forced to go talk to one of Doctor Pym's old associates, Morpheus. Mm -hmm. What's his what name? Was the name Bill Foster? Bill Foster. Yeah, that's correct. So yeah, they go over to him. He actually has some really, really good dialogue with Hank when they're just roasting each other. They before, obviously have a lot of history. Be before you talk about that, when they said Bill Foster, I thought it was going to be the guy from S.H.I.E.L.D. last movie that he punched. Yeah, me too. And also, remember, when all the hubbub was happening last movie, mm. that one guy went into the briefcase and took the yellow jacket serum or whatever the fuck it was. So that's still a loose end. And I thought it was going to come into... Wait, is that the... Guy who was funding Birch. Birch kept talking about, oh, my investors, investors are. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. Okay, maybe it is connected. No, I'm just saying. So we go to his university. He's teaching some quantum stuff. And he cuts class short when, when people are paying thousands for tuition. Yeah. But he's like, I see and you, on your faces, you're tired. <laughs> let's, let's go home. Nah, what the? I get Bro, let's be real. They're all failing that class. Yeah, yeah. No one's listening. Yeah, no one's They're listening. They're on their laptop bro. watching YouTube. Videos. Bro, this is not fucking Humber College. Okay? <laughs> There's 20 days of classes. It's not left Humber on. College. This is like a esteemed <laughs> university. What are you talking and about? And they're all failing. <laughs> Quantum mechanics course. Forget it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we didn't actually get into the details of what their falling out was. They seem to have some disagreement. Yeah, but as you mentioned, like. Uh, Pim is obviously very proud and dogmatic, and he. Well, that's how it came off this movie, but it didn't come off that like that in the last movie. Yeah, so he's he's getting so he's getting worse. Or he's getting better. He's worse. You're well, saying. I wouldn't say worse because all this happened before that. This is like they're talking about the past. You think he's stressed because he knows? Well, he's, he's always been stressed. He's always stressed, man. <laughs> he's, that's the life of a scientist. Oh no, he's on the run. Yeah, I mean, that's that, that's definitely a big yeah, difference. No, but in the last his movie. difference of opinion happened way before that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyways, what else? I guess now we talk about. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we go to the school. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that Tiny was Scott. such a good. Kid Scott. <laughs> Kid Scott with the hoodie on. Oh, I'm surprised God. that like, they just got away with it. I yeah. thought something was going to happen before, before they leave the school. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Maybe they thought that he was a kid and uh, Hope was kidnapping a kid or something. Because <laughs> Hope was carrying, like, right, you know? And then they look at the kid and he looks... He's a fucking beard. 30, Dude, 35. <laughs> that's so true, though. Did any teachers ever actually run after any of the kids in the hallways at your schools? Run? Yeah. I don't know about yeah? run. Yeah? Run? <laughs> Bro! Our hall monitor was a bouncer, okay? Oh, oh no. God. One time, oh, okay. No. Bro, one no, time, no. there was a fight in the hallway, right? And it was two of the biggest guys. Oh, God. Two of the biggest guys in the school. They going were going at it. at it. Yeah. Hall monitor, who's a bouncer, comes in, sees it. He just rushes in, tackles both of them into oh, the ground. Oh, my God. Tackles them. Definite concussion. Then wow. principal comes in, fight's done. <laughs> Yo, that was my a, high school, okay? He's a professional. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the best fucking scene ever, man. <laughs> oh, you, wa you were there? Yeah, I was there, yeah. Bro. I was never I miss there. high school, man. I'm always, 
Oh, they always like tell me about the fight. I, I was never there. Yo, all the fighting in my school happened outside, right? Catholic school, so Catholic can't do that indoors. No, no, bro. I was at Catholic school. We had fights inside. Fights happen. <laughs> fights happen where they happen. No, dude. People our fights were <laughs> no, our fights were dangerous when it was other schools. So like, if we're if we're oh, scrapping oh, another sports. school, oh god. That sh I remember my first like uh, cause the school I went to was super dangerous, right? But it was dangerous before I got there. Mm -hmm. So when we were in grade eight, everyone was saying, "Oh, you better fucking make some friends, have some connections when you what go to this school." Fucking prison? prison? What the hell? Prison bro, school. Bro, we're in the hood. What do you mean? Make some friends? No, bro. Literally, my first week, grade nine, I'm walking home. I see a gang of like art, like uh, older grade elevens and twelves, right? Mm -hmm. They're coming behind me. They're running towards, like they run past me. Then I see another gang getting off the fucking bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah. there was chains and hammers. Oh. They're going at it at each other, and I'm just there like, bro, what the fuck? Anyways, I don't know why we're talking about this, okay? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Anyways. Moving on, we... I like how everything was on the go. They had the lab Yo. in a briefcase. Literally. That's All such wheels. a cool idea. Yeah. Bro, imagine... Bro! Everything. It's infinite storage. Ima no! Imagine you're a real estate agent, okay? You can make any house oh. a prime location and drive up the price. Oh. Move it by the beach. I thought you were... <laughs> now, the price like raises like 100k. Sell that shit. Get the commission and then move it back. <laughs> sure. Or, you know, if, again, the, the people... Well, obviously, if you're a real estate agent, what you could do is you could shrink the houses and then you could have like an empty lot. Dude. And then you could show all the houses. If they were like for the interior, obviously for the, mm. the location, they would have to actually go on site. But, you know, just for convenience. Dude, you, you can know? do that with cars too. You can start a business You can just that. have them there. Small cars. Yeah. And people just pick. Exactly. Like a car dealership, but it's miniaturized. You can just have like a yeah, little you know track. how like a... Yo! I don't know if you ever worked at a dealership, but there's a lot of uh, positions for a lot of attendants. Mm. Where the person's whole job is to move cars around. So they're getting fired now. You just shrink them down and move them by hand. <laughs> Imagine you could literally <laughs> race on a racetrack in your own home. Oh my god. You're the Hot Wheels set. The track master. Oh my god. Wait, they moved them around for what? Like, you for know, displays or like stuff. if displays? something gets sold. Yeah. Okay, okay. If something's you know, sold, you don't want it in the front. You want to move it to the back I see. until it get, gets picked up, right? You know yeah. when they say like, I'll move around back? It's the guy who moves it around to the back. <laughs> Yes. So now we got... I guess let's, let's just talk about the final act then. Yeah. Uh, this car, the car chase scene was really good, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. It rivals the Black Panther car chase scene. But I still think that was better. Because it was oh, at night. yeah, 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 yeah. That was, okay. I don't think uh, in the Black Panther discussion, we gave that credit. Yeah. Because that was so smoothly shot. It was slick. It was the slick. Purple. It wasn't Tokyo. Lights. Was it no Korea? Korea. Yeah. Korea. Yeah, that's like still one of the best action scenes in my opinion. Damn, totally. But this is very close. Oh yeah, because you also got Scott with the, like his scooter oh. truck, the flatbed. Yeah, and uh, things are getting smaller and bigger, so, bro. And then Luis was Luis. doing that too. He got that car, the Hyundai. Yeah, the Veloster. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that thing was sexy. There was no Audis this movie. We had Mercedes with the Sprinter. We had Hyundai. I even saw some fucking Honda Accords, but no Audis. Huh. Did that Audis contract the, run up? That's just a Tony. I think that's like in Shield when we start seeing the Audis. Or is it? No, it's straight from the get go, Tony. Shield was Acura's, Tony was Audi. Oh. But the rest of the Avengers, even Spider Man, like that shit was Audi. Mm. Mm. Okay. Anyways. He gets super big, and obviously, as we learned, when he gets big, he gets tired. That so makes sense. He was set to sleep for several Exuming days. Exhuming more energy and shit. Breathing, too. Yeah, breathing. You need more oxygen, yeah. I like that in some aspects, they still try to make it make sense, mm -hmm. rather than just some bullshit. It would be too OP. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's slower, so that's also slower balance. Slower, too, yeah, yeah. We so haven't seen Wasp get that big. I want to see that. 
Hmm. Can the she? wings? Why not? I know. She'd literally be like fucking Mothra. Oh literally. From God, Godzilla. That would be insane. Wasp would be Mothra. Oh god. Ew. Why not? That would be oh. I think like That'd be cool. Be. I'd love Dude, that. Dude, get him get freaking Scott some wings. Why can't he just throw some nah, wings? No, 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 no. We need uh Anthony. <laughs> He's a well, liability, would... man. Give nah. him a backup. Nah. If Anthony's out of commission, then Scott's grounded. That's not cool. Grounded. <laughs> Anyway, the start finishes before nine. So, yeah. what's left is basically the end scene where Hank finally meets up with Janet. She's alive. She's aged normally, it seems, even though time and space might be different there. She's changed. But allegedly. yeah, she's changed. She's not the same woman she was thirty years ago. This place does according things to, her. to you. So we learn a little bit about what that means when they get out mm -hmm. and she heals Ava just by giving a little rub down on the temples. Yeah. So they said that she had like, yeah, so apparently- Healing particle, that's what it yeah, said. Yeah, so part of her change or her metamorphosis involves, they said it was quantum energy. She absorbed some quantum energy. No, they said absorbing the healing particle. That's what they said. No, no, that was for Ava specifically, but when they were talking about what happened to her... Oh. They said that she was... Yeah, because, again, they, they didn't know that it would heal Ava. Well, okay, they also brought up a question about evolution. So, what I think that means is maybe a different kind of, like, quantum radiation that affected her. Mm -hmm. But not in a way that normal radiation would, like, fuck you up, you yeah, know? Yeah. So maybe it enhanced her. Oh, Similar sure. to how, like, Spider-Man is only Spider-Man because of a radiated spider, you know? Even, even Hulk, the, the... Gamma ray, The yeah. gamma rays, like, with the cells, right? Yeah, that was, that's a mix of the radiation Yeah, and exactly. Serum, though, so, right? I feel like that's probably what they're trying to allude to. But because it's quantum, it could be anything. Radiation, be the secret to evolution. I think it's, if we take her words literally, then she's literally, like, an evolved being. Or she's a step ahead of us anyways. A quantum being? She's if a you quantum want. being. So I would assume that her her evolutionary advantage would allow her to, you know, heal anyone from the previous evolutionary cycle. Right? So house arrest is done. He's supposedly a free man, but Wu wants to have some dinner. Yeah, Wu's They alone. should. Wu's alone. I really hope we see him. I again. would have dinner so many times with Wu. Oh, yeah, dude. He's okay. just, he's a goofball, but he's fun. Maybe Wu looks up to him, but he just refused to admit He does. He, the cards. Wu can't do the card tricks. The magic. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally taking the He wants the same to take him to him. dinner so he can teach him yeah. how to do the magic. That's trick. the only reason. Yeah. He's struggling with that one trick. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Anyways, now let's talk about the end scene. First, we got some drumming action. Well, that was secondly, but the important one, which was heartbreaking as fuck, is. He's getting stranded. Not just that, but Hope, Hank, Janet, all dead. That bothers me because Hope is Hope is like one of my favorites now. I'm trying to think. You don't know what happened to Cassie. Is that worse Cassie or better? Cassie better be alive. What? Is that worse or better for him? For who? Huh? For who? What do you mean? For Scott? Like is him what being better? in the oh, realm. I see what you're saying. He's saying is him being in the realm protecting him from Thanos' snap. I don't think so. Because that's exactly. part of the universe. Exactly. Thanos controls the universe. He doesn't just control life or death. But, okay. Or he does the snap anyway. Logically, you'd say that it's part of the universe. But we also know that in the quantum realm, things are things don't follow the normal universal rules. But those are rules that we apply on their universe, right? So. No, it's, it's, is, it's like laws of physics don't apply in quantum. Yeah. Yeah. It's not rules that we apply, it's rules that we observe. Yeah. It's like we made them. We just define them. Yeah. So maybe it's protecting him, maybe not. But regardless, he's stuck in there. And I guess now we have to talk about Infinity War, right? Because there's no way... All these people are dying. Especially my girl Wanda. Especially my girl Hope. Especially but, Doctor Strange. But the problem is, how do we bring them back? I think they have to do some time shit. That's the only solution I can think of. 
So you get, get the time stone back? You have to get the time stone back and... Uh, I don't know, man. Because there's no way they're killing all of our favorites like that. No. What's the next movie? Let's Marvel? Check. Maybe in Marvel, Captain Marvel? Yeah, maybe in Captain Marvel they'll explain how... how I don't know oh, if I'm excited to watch that. Can, is she, can she time travel? Do we know? Who? Captain Marvel. I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. Yeah, me neither. I haven't seen it. Well, nah, don't bring in some new fucking superhero that that's going to fix everything. Yeah, okay. I don't think I'd like that if that happens. What's next? Yeah, yeah Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Is next? Damn. Oh, I think I'm editing that. Damn it. Because our next movie is the random one, right? Oh, okay. So you're going to do that, then... Thank God. I'm stuck with Brie Larson. Ugh. All right. So let's do characters real quick. Sure. Then we'll do the ranking. So, in this movie, I feel like our main boys, Louis, T.I., kind of took a backseat. Mm -hmm. They were better in the first movie, I think. So in this movie, I would put Hope, number one. Okay. Uh, Scott... Oh, no, no, my bad, my bad, my bad. What the fuck am I doing? That was blasphemy. Number one is Cassie. Mm. Then it's Hope. Then it's Scott. Scott. Hope. Cassie. Scott. Cassie. Woo. These fuckers are pretty Cassie. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Oh, I forgot about Woo. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Woo is amazing. He is amazing. He's incredible. Fuck. He's gonna learn the card trick. Okay, okay. I'll, but no, 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 Cassie's better than Woo. No, I'm Get redoing, I'm redoing. Scott, Woo, Cassie. Oh, you suck. Hope is so good. Yeah, Hope is fourth. Let's do our ranking now. Oh, this is gonna be tough. So. Who's up first? Who's up first? One thing I wanted to change, mm. because I just finished editing uh, Ragnarok, and... While I was editing, I was like, bro, this movie's so fucking good. I was having such a good good time editing. Okay. So because of... Why do I keep pressing B? Uh, because of that, I want to put this up. Oh, wait. Where can I actually put this? Oh, that's tight. But it is better than Ant-Man, I think. It's not better than Winter Soldier. Louise? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Doctor Strange is better than Ultron. Winter Soldier is better than Ultron. But Ragnarok is better than... Bro Dude, Louise. $365 million production budget. Come on now. For what? Respect Ultron. Oh, for Ultron? Yeah, it's like one of the most expensive Marvel movies of all time. Really? It's tied for the most expensive. With what, Endgame? Yeah. No, only because... I mean, I told you why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ragnarok was super fun. I'm now, in terms right. of Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think I'm still deciding, so you guys go first. Okay. Put uh, Iron Man 3 above Ant-Man. Oh, you want to bring it down? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now put uh, oh, we got Thor the, the new one above Thor. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> Above Rag Ragnarok? Ragnarok, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks I feel <laughs> You like that symmetry or better, buddy? Yeah, this guy has a good yeah. curve at the top. Oh, no. See, yours looks so bad, dude. Stay pressed. <laughs> Bro, at least I'm not, organized. Always like at least I'm not organized the shape. by shape, okay? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? That's how you, you started. That's how you used <laughs> to complain about the shape. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about shape. It's about what's inside. <laughs> We're going to have to slap Ant-Man the Wasp right above Iron Man 3. Oh, shit. Wrong one. All right. we Dude, have... we had it at the same spot. Yeah. That's fair. I think this goes right. Damn, I keep doing this. <laughs> keep highlighting. Right here. It's right below Ant-Man. It's so close to being uh, better, but the villain and some other stuff is kind of muddy, in my opinion. 
Yeah. But what I do like about this movie is Hope. She's my favorite. And Cassie. Of course. She's Cat incredible. That, that goes without saying. Yeah. And especially the soundtrack. Bro. I love the Ant-Man soundtrack. You're right. It is really it's good. It's really good. Like the actual Ant-Man theme. Yeah. So let me just go over mine and make sure I'm happy. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to have to ruin my shape. Oh, you, you want to change something? The Winter Soldier above Iron Man 3. Fuck, that's going to mess. You guys are finally coming around and seeing how good Winter Soldier is. Captain America, the first Avenger. Hmm. Except for Kyle. Kyle's list is still blasphemy. Don't respect well, the winter. This is primo, okay? This is the You primo know why list. I did that? Because I remember exactly what happened in the Winter Soldier, but I don't remember a lot of Iron Man 3. Yeah, so here's my so here's the conflict I have when I'm watching MCU, right? Yeah. It's that balance between depth and uh good story versus comedy. Mm. So, when I'm putting Thor all the way up here, that's because it was so fun to watch. I had a good time. Yeah. But then when I put Civil War and Winter Soldier up here, it's because, mm -hmm. hands down, they're the best story in mm -hmm. any movie, yeah, I yeah. think. Even better than Infinity War. Like, Civil War, you can't fuck with that story, in my opinion. Oh, mm -hmm. this story is incredible. So, that's what makes it for me. And, but there's always that, it's like, oh fuck, do I favor comedy or... Yeah, you know? the thing is, I probably had a really good time uh, watching Iron Man 3. That's why it was so high up. Mm -hmm. But over time, if I don't remember, this goes with any movie or TV show. If I don't remember what happened, that means I didn't actually like it. And yeah, the movies, I the actually, um, yeah, it was a moment thing. Yeah. But to be fair, I have to change something else. Because... Last movie, Black Panther, we didn't talk that much about the car chase scene, but I feel like that that scene alone brings it up. But I don't think it's better than Homecoming. So I have to really? move both of these oh. above Hulk, I think. Okay. Mm. That's fair. That's what I think. Well, Hulk for me is up at, at the bottom. So, damn. So Black Panther. Yeah, the Hulk, the Hulk was a good story. Wait, Black Panther's not better than Iron Man. <laughs> Bro, you have it at the bottom too. Not as good as Hey, hey, respect the Incredible Hulk. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for Ant Man and the Wasp. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page for the full uncut reaction. Link is down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.